What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building, and I just want to make a quick video. You know, doing the work day thing, but I just want to make a quick video about the firing of Steve Wilkes yesterday with them San Francisco 49ers. I mentioned a little bit on my video yesterday that I thought it was crazy, but Cowboys, man, hey, if Mike Zimmer's supposed to be looking for his staff, he reached out to Andre Patterson, I believe, from the Jets, I mean, the Giants, and they blocked him. He's got to start getting this staff together. I don't know if you know this man, but dog, bring him in the building. Bring him in the building. Um, you lost Joe Witt. Uh, you retained Al Harris. We love that. I'm sure you can figure out something between that right there. You can figure something out if you brought him on the staff, but I think he would bring value instantly. I think he wasn't bad in Arizona. I think he was good in um, Carolina. I don't think he got a fair shake with that, but I thought he played. He coached very well with Carolina, and them and them and them players rallied around him, and I think they like him. So, and this ain't like the NFL players where after games over, players are swapping jerseys and kicking it with each other. I it's, I think it's more personal with a coach getting fired and want to stick it to the organization more than a player because you know players. It's it's. I just feel like. Like a Shanahan made you kind of like the scapegoat or the failures of that game. I think it would be personal if you brought Steve Wilkes on and we played Dallas played San Francisco again next year. Number one, he's going to have intel. He knows what's going on inside that building. They've been your kryptonite for the last three years. They've been your kryptonite. You know, it don't matter if he was only in there one year. He still know he got intel. And he wasn't bad in Carolina. You feel me? He will bring, I believe he'll add value. It's another minority in my opinion. That's good. And him, Al Harris, y'all, y'all can work that out. So my opinion, please, Cowboys, reach out, see what's up. At least talk to him. Don't just be like, oh, with Zimmer and Zimmer going to get his own people because that ain't the case because Zimmer ain't get his own people because Dallas Cowboys retained Al Harris. So he ain't getting all his own people because you already got somebody who Mike McCarthy already is basically saying you're keeping Al Harris, which is smart. We all love Al Harris. I love Al Harris. I would have been sad if he go. And I ain't going to lie. I'm glad Cowboys blocked that. So, um, but as I said before, I mean, he get, he'll, he'll, he can give you great intel. I think it'd be personal for him um, if you brought him on, uh, going against them Niners, and I believe he can add to it. I don't care if he was over in the building on a year. That's a year of intel. It could be uh, more personal because of how he got let go, and uh, I think it'd just be a good choice to add him to the staff considering what you lost. Um, Dan Quinn is hitting is, is is adding a dope staff over there. I do like that he's adding a lot of uh, minorities over there. Um, just wanted to throw that in there. I'm, I'm happy that he's uh, hiring minorities. Um, but the Cowboys, y'all really need to look at this with Steve Wilkes, in my opinion. Y'all really need to look at it. Don't just say, oh, we'll be okay, like y'all always do, and say, yeah, we're all right. We got who we wanted. We don't need to worry about nothing else. No, y'all need to still keep grinding. Y'all still need to keep going hard. We'll see about this free agency thing. I don't believe it. I don't believe y'all going to do it. But I did see a video, and, and not even a video, I seen where Sky uh, Skywalker still basically made a – uh, a caption where his first year coordinators, Cowboys, kind of, hey, we'll 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 give you free agents. We'll 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 go out there and kind of give you some stuff. They give them some toys the first year. So if this is supposed to be the all-in year and you just got a new defensive coordinator and someone who you love is in the building and you love Mike Zimmer and you love what he brings to the table, then you need to love and get in that free agent pool and dip in there and get some real free agents and not these guys that ain't really going to help. We saw them help last year, but they were still cheap. you probably going to have to spend some money. You're probably going to have to freak some things. You're going to have to do some things if you're going to have to go all in and you have to get some impact players because Mike – Zimmer going to need him. So let's see what you're going to do, Cowboys. You're on the clock, Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones. Let's see if you're really talking that all-in stuff. Let's see if you're really about that life. Let's see if you just if you really doing it or you just running your mouth and saving face for an organization to keep people to shut up and keep believing in this crap that you keep trying to sell. So let's 
see if it's really all in. Let's see if you're really going to get some real free agents, not hating from last year, but some guys that you're going to have to spend money on. Let's see if you're really going to do it because I don't believe it, uh, and uh, we'll see. I'm doubting Thomas, so we'll see, and let's see what you're going to do. So that's just my quick thoughts on the video. Go after C. Wilkes, get him in the building, get him on, get him on the team, get him, get him in the building. I think he can add value, and we'll see what the rest of uh, Zimmer's staff, what he does with that. Um, but that's a guy that I feel like you definitely got to add ASAP before somebody scoops him up, and then y'all be sitting there thinking like, yeah, we okay. Yeah, you're only okay because y'all slow foot and y'all sit on your hands. And because y'all sit on your hands, y'all miss a lot of things. I hope this isn't one of them, in my opinion. Big game, James. I hope we. I think we're gonna have the big star show. Sorry about burgers and blitzes yesterday. I upgrade my internet system yesterday because I'm gonna be dropping a lot more college videos, college breakdowns, um, and things of that nature. And I can't be having my frames skipping and they were skipping, so I had to upgrade my internet to the highest. So I didn't have a cable box yesterday, and so that's why burgers and blitzes didn't go down. But we'll be right back in the building. Once again, check out the Big Star Show. That should be going down today. And I might be doing a show with Boss Cowboys, so check that out. And I'm, like I said, I got some good news that just came on the horizon. We'll drop the news either this week or next week. Exciting news for my channel and beyond. I think you'll like it, and I definitely hope y'all tune in for it. Um, so make sure you just tune in for it tonight, and let's get it. Big Game James, I'm out. Peace.